Hi Seeksters, hi YouTube. Hope you guys are having a great week. Today's video is going to be a haul video. Before we get into the video, I did want to mention you can visit the blog now, SuppleChic.com, for a roundup of our top picks, steals, and coupon codes. Visit the blog now. Today's video is going to be a haul video, and it's going to be an Amazon haul video. From time to time, I share with you guys some of my Amazon finds. You guys seem to love it. So if you love haul videos, especially Amazon haul videos, then make sure you hit that like button down below. So yes, guys, I thought I would share with you guys some of the few pieces I've been picking up from Amazon for fall. I'm going to be sharing with you guys one designer dupe that you do not want to miss, okay? You do not want to miss this. So if you're anything like me, you probably started shopping at Amazon, buying books, and now you pretty much go on Amazon like every other day. Like literally, I am on Amazon every other day. So I not only shop for clothes on Amazon, I also shop for like groceries sometimes and I also buy homeware. So if you guys would like me to do something like an Amazon favorites video where I share with you guys other things as I'm, I'm sure I'll include some fashion, but just my overall favorites over the last year, then let me know in the comments below because I would love to share with you guys some homeware bits. I would of course love to share with you guys some fashion bits. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do an Amazon favorites video. And I forgot to turn off the AC, oops. So if you are here for my Amazon fashion finds, then keep on watching. All right, so the first kind of thing I knew that I wanted for fall, actually I wanted this in the spring. I don't know why I kept on putting it off. I was hoping I could get it for cheaper. It just, the price just never fell. And I could totally understand why, because this brand literally to me makes the best hats, period. I have a big head when I, because I wear wigs and weaves, I can, I can never find like hats at Forever 21 and like all these other like affordable places that would fit my head until I managed to find a pair or a hat from Brixton. So my first Brixton hat I've had for like three or four years. I wear it all the time on this channel. If you look at any of like my fall and winter videos, you will see me wearing my black Brixton fedora. Um, so I knew that I wanted another fedora in a lighter color. Here goes the dilemma. As you guys can see, there's two different colors here. So I picked up two. I can't keep both of them because Brixton, as wonderful as they are, as great quality as they are, they run around like $50 a pop and I just don't, I'm not at the point where spending $50 for a hat is just like easy for me, okay? Um, and keeping both of them would mean them spending basically $100. I don't want to spend that much on, on a hat. Um, so I got both colors to kind of decide which color I like best. And I actually also did a poll on this on Instagram. So here is the sort of like the darker tan color with the black um, trim or dark brown. I think this is bucket with the black trim. And then here is the um, lighter color with the light brown trim. Alex says he thinks I should keep this one. I'm actually, I love the color of the dark one, but I'm actually leaning towards this one just because the contrast, you know, it's much lighter. It has the brown trim. So like when I'm wearing it, you know I'm wearing something light, right? Um, so yeah, it's just a standard, I guess, I think this is either, let me see, is this wool or felt? Let's see. Made in China. What is the fabric? Speak English. So this is a wool, 100% wool hat. Okay, so quality is on point, which makes sense. And then it has this brown, I think this is faux leather. It might be real though. And it's embossed with the B, which is the Brixton logo. And again, I think this was, the, was 49 or 48. So, it's not the cheapest, 
But like I said, I've had my black one for years. I know I'm gonna have it for even more years. So I feel like for something that I wear a lot, that's a staple that I can't seem to find at Forever 21 in my size, then it's worth it. I'm This is an extra large, so I get the very biggest size ever. So if I want my hair to be this big, it will fit into this hat. Let me know in the comments if I should keep this lighter color or if I should keep this darker color. The next item I want to show with you guys is a, you guessed it, leopard print skirt. I've seen so many leopard print skirts on my timeline on Instagram, but like I wasn't really finding any plus retailers that were making the style I wanted. I wanted sort of like the way, like a the silky style that kind of like cling to your body but wasn't like a bodycon but wasn't an A-line. I don't know how to explain that shape. It just sort of like skims your body but it's not tight. So I was looking for that look everywhere and then I kind of ran across it on Amazon and this was super affordable. This came from the UK though, but it was super affordable. I think it was like under $20, like maybe 15 or something like that. It's a, it's a thinnish, it's a, it's a lightweight jersey fabric. So it's not silky per se, but I do like the way it kind of like hugs the, or I like the way it hugged the model. I think just from looking at it, um, that I'm gonna love how it fits me as well. I do feel that I may have to wear Spanx because this fabric is kind of like a lightweight jersey. But overall, for the price, it's perfect. It's midi length. It's exactly what I was looking for. I'm gonna pair this with like a tissue thin turtleneck. Pair it with some ankle boots, pair it with some over knee boots, throw on a biker jacket, throw on a blazer. So there's so many options for this skirt. And then funny enough, I just thrifted another le leopard skirt. So if you're not, you know, if you're on a budget and you don't want to splurge too much, definitely check the thrift store out. Guys, if I've been squinting in this video, I'm sorry. It's super late. It's like almost midnight. I've been up since six o'clock and when I'm tired, I tend to squint. Um, so my apologies if my energy is not at 100, but I had to make this video for you guys. Next find on Amazon is going to be a brand that I kind of like ran across. I, but I was watching a fellow YouTuber's channel and she did an Amazon haul and she hauled a t-shirt from this brand called Daily Ritual. So Daily Rituals, they're, they're kind of like a basic, a basics Amazon brand. I think they're like, they're an Amazon exclusive. They sell things like t-shirts and turtlenecks and t-shirt dresses just like those kind of like basic pieces that you need those classic pieces that you have to have in your wardrobe and what I'm getting from them is more like elevated basics so I picked up this um, sweatshirt dress I have one like this in red from Forever 21. They're so easy for the weekend. Just throw this on, throw on a pair of kicks or a pair of vans or a pair of Converse and your like crossbody bag and you're out the door. I love, love, love these. Okay, you could also pair this with boots if you want. Like you could pair this with over the knee boots, flat boots if you want, or like ankle boots. So you can dress this up somewhat. I actually had an idea to actually throw on a long line blazer over this, but this one is, it's a tad bit longer than the blazer. So I'm gonna try it on and see if the proportions work. But I had the idea of throwing on a long line blazer over this. I think it would be really cool because I love the way that whole mixture of, you know, the casualness of a shirt dress and the sort of like polishedness of a blazer. So I got this in a 2X and I have not tried this on. So if there's any issues with it, please, I will annotate it on the screen. So please read. Um... It's long sleeve, it's made out of like a medium weight, like, like, a, like I would say almost like a slight, not exactly standard sweatshirt material. It's not super heavy, but it's heavy enough. And of course, what really attracted me to this was the 
the um, poles here around the hood. It comes in gray, definitely. It comes in navy, definitely. And I was so torn with whether to get the navy or the green, but I opted for black because I know that this is something I want to wear a lot and I know that I'm going to get the most wear out of black. And the last item is going to be a jewelry piece. I have been seeing these um, monogram necklaces all over. Let me see if it'll focus. Yes. I've been seeing this monogram necklaces all over Instagram. I don't know who first designed it. I'm pretty sure this is an, a dupe for a super expensive necklace. Um, I know I saw it on like Ami Song. I saw it on Wannabe Fashion Blogger. I saw it on different people. Um, and I know the whole sort of like layered necklaces, chunky necklaces. It's kind of like in, it's like either super thin and dainty or like sort of like layered and chunky. That whole look is happening right now. So when I saw, I ran across this on Amazon. I was like, add to cart. This seller has all of the letters. I couldn't decide on what letter to get. Um, I normally, all of my monogram necklaces have A on it for Alex, which is my son's name. So I was like, let me just, I have enough A necklaces. For some reason, I never get my own name, which is either C or L. I didn't like the way C was kind of lopsided and didn't really love L either. So I went with S for Supple Chic or my mom's name is Sylvia. So either or. Um, and yeah, this is a great piece. Also really affordable. You might you might be able to find this on um, somewhere like Shein for less, but you know the thing with Shein is that you never know what you get. In. But for sure, for this from Amazon, it's good quality. Um, now, I don't know how long it's gonna stay gold, but of course, like I said, it's costume jewelry, so you never know, you never know. But that's it, guys, for this haul. It's a quick, quick one. These are all the pieces that I picked up from Amazon. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do an Amazon favorites video and let us know in the comments what you love to buy from Amazon. Do you even shop at Amazon? Let, let's continue our conversation down below. If you like this video, share it with a friend and don't forget to break, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, Stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,